Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy, sir, of the 2020 Podcast LLC. Please say the LLC. And we back with Squad Goes. This is season three opener. And yes, yes, I know last season we was going live, but it's Christmas break and we wanted some time to kind of chillax. So this is pre-recorded. All right. Now, that being said, today's episode is sponsored by Pet Peeves. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are discussing pet peeves, shit that annoy you. Now, I figured what better way to get started in our conversation for today than have a little history of the word pet peeve. By show of hands, how many of you guys know where the word pet peeve comes from? Awesome. Nobody. That's what I wanted. So according to uh, Google, uh, you know, one of the great sages of our time, pet peeves is actually a pretty modern word. Get that. It started in the 20th century, which was in the early 1900s. And it comes from, get this, this is going to blow your fucking mind. I hope y'all ready. This shit comes from a single panel cartoon script, strip, strip. You can see my mobile coming through a single panel cartoon strip called the little pet peeves. Now it was by Frank King. He was from Chicago. Go figure. And it primarily focused on the nuances of annoyances through mis, uh, things being taken out of context or, or things being uh, done thoughtlessly. So essentially, it was a one panel cartoon that was a play on words and just visibly showed people being irritated. It was literally the first meme. I bullshit you not. Pet peeves comes from a cartoon where a dude was making four years of memes and put them in the Chicago newspaper from 1916 to 1920. Now, the words pet peeves comes from the word peevish, which is a 14th century word. This is where my nerd is showing. A 14th century word. And what we did when it came to America, we said, you know how black folks do. We get words and we try to make it cool. So we shorten it. So instead of peeves, it became, excuse me, instead of peevish, it became peeves. And thus the cartoon little pet peeve and pet peeve became the new term that we started using in the 20th century. So yeah, give it up for me for research. Yep. Yep. Sources will be listed in the description of this video, but pretty much today, I wanted to talk to you guys about pet peeves, peevishness, or peeves, whatever the hell you want to call it. And I just want people to give a couple things that really irritates them, whether it has to do with work, whether it has to do with personal life, or whatever. And at the end, when we get done, I have a group assignment for us that I'm really excited to share. So I'm gonna go first, naturally, because I'm already talking. Things that annoy the shit out of me. I cannot stand unnecessarily loud people. If you can say it at an octave of three, do not say that shit at an octave of eight. That nothing annoys me more than hearing that little ringing noise when somebody's laughing or screaming too loud. And it's like, nigga, I'm right here. I'm, I'm literally here. Like, just turn it down a couple of levels. So I'm gonna pass the buck around. No pun intended. I'm gonna start with eternity. Eternity. Hit me with some of your best pet peeves, bro. You know what grinds my gears? No, let me stop. Mm. Oh, I, um, procrastination is a huge pet peeve of mine. Um, you know, I used to try to put that shit on like Zodiac and like as an Aries, I just want to have stuff done. But I have come to realize that I want to do everything myself because if I leave it to anybody else, they're not going to do it right then and there when it really should just be done right then and there. Um, so I think procrastination is a huge pet. There's no think like I know. Um, so last night, full transparency, I had to have my own little venting session where I just started talking. And I realized that we were coming here this evening. So I figured I would bring this to you guys as well, because maybe, just maybe, it'll piss y'all off too. Um, people who make excuses for things that don't need to be to have excuses. That is a strong, strong, and when I tell when I say that, 
um, it may not it may not sound as simple or it may not sound, you know what I mean? Like, what do you mean? You know, dig deeper into that. Essentially this, um, we choose our reality. If we are positive, the things that we do, we say that we attract, those are positive things. You can't be negative all the time and just expect good shit to come to you. And that accountability, if you will, starts with us. Accountability, keyword there. Um, if something is very easily obtained and it requires 20 seconds of your time, this kind of falls into that procrastination thing. Why is it so hard for people to take advice when they ask? I think it's just a combination of accountability, uh, procrastination, and negativity. So I'm going to pick those three words and say those three things are my pet peeves. I just need to get that off. So, well, I got yeah. I am definitely glad we were able to be a platform where you could express your frustration. I completely understand that because I hate when people ask for my opinion and they don't take it. I just want to drop kick them, like a running drop kick. The one where shotgun you, drop kick. I'm talking about John Wu drop kick yes. all the way into the corner. Like what, go somewhere. where the feet touch touch the lungs type drop right kick. Here. Yeah, right, right here. Right I'm down. talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I want to kick, I want to kick their ass so hard it expels all the air they thought they owned. It's just <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna take a turn. We're gonna highlight. The birthday girl, we're going to act like today's a birthday. The birthday girl, K. Marie. Woo -woo. What about you, girl? Come out at us. Oh, oh, I just. I'm going to go on mannerisms with my. Mm. Um, like when you chewing and you don't close your fucking mouth. <laughs> like, boy. And you, there are sounds coming from it that sound like I want to straight, you know what I mean? You know? And then um, it's more of a pet peeve, like, I guess, intolerance. Hearing silverware on the plate. Like Yes, Lord. I, uh. I was like, what did that plate do to you? Did it do anything? <laughs> and I'll get up and give you a paper plate or plasticware. No shame in my game. Can't do it. Can't do it. Ooh. Ooh, I made my own moans fall. Ooh, can't do it. Um, having to repeat myself over and over again. Like, I don't like having to do it in general, but I understand that it happens. Mm -hmm. But when I have to do it in sequence, what'd you say, Kay? I said that <laughs> such and such, such and such, such and such, such and such, such and such. Huh? <laughs> don't worry about it. Because <laughs> by the third one, I'm out. Like, <laughs> We're good. Don't worry. No, Tim, what you you don't care. You don't care, so I don't care now. I don't care anymore. I'm off of it. So those are my little three mannerisms, okay? Okay? You know, come back funny. to me later. What? That's exactly why. And God forbid me for what I'm about to say. That's why I don't like talking to old people on the phone. Because they do that Ooh. thing where they say, huh, as you're talking. <laughs> right. And I swear to God, <laughs> nothing that. makes me want to fight an old person more. And when I'm talking, exactly. responding to their huh, and they huh again. Right. Mm. Go, go yeah, ahead, Buck. Go ahead, Buck. What you just said really just triggered something in me. I don't <laughs> like when I'm in the middle of a conversation with somebody about something, and somebody just decides to interject their ass into the conversation with something that ain't got nothing to do with what we're talking about. <laughs> That too. That too. <laughs> All right, I'm gone. Let me go. 
he felt the way. He felt the way. But yeah. Now, in talking about noises, there is a distinct sound sensation combination that completely turns me off. And this is why I don't fuck with Don dish soap. If you've ever used Don dish soap and your fingers rub together and they do that rip, I swear to God, I stopped washing dishes. I cannot do it. It's just something about the sensation that just completes me, like shuts me off. And I have a thing. I love washing dishes. I will come to your house and wash your dishes. I don't want you to be offended at all. It's, it's not me saying your house is dirty. I just genuinely and ha am happy to wash dishes. I'm weird. I don't give a damn. All right. So next. Yeah, but you know, you know, came to the house and you ain't never washed my dishes before, but it could be because we used Don dish soap. Hey, you. That's exactly <laughs> why. <laughs> I understand. That's I understand. <laughs> you the nail on the motherfucking head. <laughs> All right. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and bring in. Uh oh. Did we lose? Oh, that's your go. It just moved the picture around. We're going to bring in the new member of Squad Goals, season Trey, Miss Cara Naturally. Oh. What about you, girl? What what irritates you? All of those y'all had are on my list, but I think one I have is certain words. Certain words I can't hear. Don't say it. The M word. Oh, it just it just sounds like peanut butter in in dishwater. It just sounds really nasty and just peanut butter in dishwater. Oh, and then another one I hate is schmear. Have you ever heard that? Like a schmear of. It just sounds nasty, like a like you're going to the gynecologist. I don't like that word either. Oh, like a pap smear. But no, but it's not smear. It's schmear. Like you put, you know, cream cheese on a bagel. You never heard of that? A schmear? Smear it on. I thought smear. that was just smear. We know what smear is. Ugh. Wait a minute. So you never I thought it was just smear. Smear, but then I heard it's another one. It's schmear. Okay. All right. We'll roll with it. Don't don't put no, <laughs> don't germifies the word smear. Don't smear it. So, that, smear. Um, don't like it when your butt is showing, and I know you can feel the air. Like just pull your pants up. I know you know your crack is out. You know what I'm saying? I just pull it up. I, I, I yeah, and it's always big guys who do it too. Wait a like minute. That's that's enough now. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's always the big guy. I don't like that. And then another thing about work. Work will tell you, oh, you're doing such a great job. You're doing wonderful. Um, so I think this is a good opportunity for you to, you know, step your game up. And then they give you like uh, another 10 things you have to do on top of what you've already done. So like, don't reward me with more work. So those, mm. are, my, those are my three main ones. Words, your ass showing, and more work. I don't like it. Nah. I, I, I accept those and I will work on it, but there are times mm. where I have to get down low. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you don't feel the air. Not even gonna lie. Sometimes, as a bigger guy, we are insulated properly so we don't feel the chill oh. of the air. You you know the chill? Y'all have goosebumps on your ass. I can see it. <laughs> what? It's just no, right, right on the hump of it. <laughs> But I'm just, I'm, I still love you. It's all right. It's all right. All right. I take it. I take it. Constructive criticism accepted. You know what I'm saying? I just make sure I have a belt on everything I wear, even sweatpants. Just, just keep a belt on. All right. Even the lingerie. Yeah. Even the lingerie. All right. So yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pass it off to my brother, the, pri the crime mob, the crime boss excuse me i'm gonna say crime mob boss that's a completely different thing totally um, different thing of the blurred syndicate mr stokes is in the building what's good bro man what's going on with you man just uh yeah so mine mine are like uh like first of all when i go to work and like they ask you something because like i deal with customers so if they ask you something and they ask you to explain something and then they'll be like no that can't be it like then, then what is it then? Then you tell me what it is then, all right? Now, I'll just sit here and wait and let you go ahead and explain to me my job title and, and the training that I went through so that you could be able to tell me. And then if you knew, then why the hell did you call me in the first place? Like, if you know what's the matter with your fucking iPhone, then get the fuck off my phone, all right? 
So that that's that's the first one. I was triggered. I'm sorry. Uh, the other thing is because um, I made a little list while everybody was talking. Hey. Uh, whining, like uh, it's especially like I don't like the woe is me. You know what I mean? Like um, like I want to be a victim because like usually victims don't want to be victims. So therefore, they're not trying to look for for sympathy. They're trying to look for help. And if you're looking for sympathy, I feel like you're doing it for attention and not for for any other reason. So that's that's another one of my things. But on the other spectrum, I don't like somebody getting picked on or being disrespected. So like mm-hmm. if if you know, like if there's been times in our fraternity where somebody is just like they've been getting clowned on and you'd be like, all right, get up off of that. Like, you, all right. All right. He, he didn't have enough. Like you got those people where you know that they go cry in the car on the way home. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) So, uh, so that's the one thing where like, if somebody is a difference between not being able to do something and not being like able to do something skill versus will, you know what I'm saying? Like if Mm. they can't do something, like there's no point of just keeping, you know, grinding them down to the ground and stuff like that. Uh, The last thing is, is like accountability. Just, uh, having somebody be like, well, they don't want to see something from anybody else's point of view besides their own. So then after that, they're just like, oh no, well, I, I did it this way. And you, and then you're just trying to talk to them and say like, Hey, like, you don't see how this could be detrimental to someone else. Just even though, you know, I, I get what you're saying. Uh, but you know, it, it still wasn't the right move and, and they're not willing to, to take accountability. Like, Hey, maybe there's there's a 75 percent chance that I fucked up, but they don't really want to take that. They just want to be like, no, no, it, I was justified in what I did. And you weren't. And that was it. Yeah. Just being open to to seeing things from another way. So mm-hmm. I, I definitely hear. And I feel like that goes into being closed minded because a lot yes. of times uh, people aren't open or receptive to a different way of thinking. And why knowing you personally, that yes. is probably like in your top three of men. <laughs> I, oh man, I like I'm I'm really chill and mellow. But if you're not gonna if you're not gonna act like you can at least understand where I'm coming from, like or or you just gonna be completely closed minded, like I lose my shit. I I don't. I, it's like and, and then everybody's like, hey hey, what's the matter? I'm like no man, like it don't make sense. So that's that's one of my that's one of my big ones. Hey, appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Hey, I got a question though. Sure. So um. I'm loud, but it's not on purpose. Like, Mm-mm. so how are how are you and I like we we've been like we've been cool for 16, 17 years. How are we still cool? Cause like I'm loud and I literally you've told me times where I can't whisper. Like it's so to now, be that's quiet. Different. <laughs> See, that's different. These are different situations. You're not unnecessarily loud. That's a that's a distinct difference. You could you are loud within reason. You are loud because you will be laughing. And uh-huh. it's genuinely funny shit going on. I just True. hate a motherfucker that's walking the house. Hey y'all, what y'all doing? Hell oh. no. Nah. Like I that's where I'm like, nigga. I know six, that it may six, I just got off. I, I know exactly who you're talking about. And it's, they used mm-hmm. to and they used to oh that's mm-hmm. the reason. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, makes sense now. Go ahead. Right. Proceed. So, <laughs> I, I'll leave clues as to who I'm talking about in the description. But anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's those unnecessarily loud people. And you're fine. When I say why it can't whisper, if you need context, why and I make fun of people in their face and why it will try to whisper a joke. He just came up with why this person is in proximity. The person usually hears why. And now we're in a situation where it's funny still, but they're like, I heard you. And I'm just like, you can't beat my ass though. That's the, that's the thing. <laughs> You can't beat my ass, though. That's all. So you just don't have to take this L and just know that I said it. <laughs> so but that, was, that was it. I'm this sorry. is how we're best friends, people. Yep. All yep. right. So I want to bring it to Ebony, the goddess, double D, double S. Sus, what you got for us? Uh, excuse my camera being off. It is bath time and it's scrub a dub dub. Hey. Uh, mommy got to make sure you get your ass in the tub. Hey. Um, but I'm gonna just leave you with this one. I feel like it could piggy off, piggyback off of what has already been said, but possibly add a layer. Mm. So 
I was on the phone with my mom, this, this scenario. I was on the phone with my mom. She could tell by my tone something was wrong. Told her nothing's wrong when she asked the first time. She asked me again. Mom, good. Look, I don't want to talk. She asked me the third time. Okay, well, here's what it is. Because you asked. So she proceeds to, uh, <laughs> to analyze the situation and provide me a situation that I never asked for advice on. Mm. Two days later, everything manifests, however it manifests. She realized you didn't do what I told you to do. I don't recall asking for your advice for the situation in the first place. So why are you mad? It's not something that's happening to you. It's something that's happened to me. And I kind of already knew it was going to happen and considered the situation as a possible outcome. And I was like, okay, cool. If this happened, I'd be cool. So that's my pet peeve. People that try to fix issues that were not asked to fix the issues and then get mad at you. Stop talking to you for, for 15 minutes and then answer the phone because your grandkids answer yada, yada, yada. But yeah, that ain't got nothing to do with you. I'm in a whole different house. I live on a different street. I drive a different car. So whatever was going on in that moment with you wanting to fix my issue it's null and void. I appreciate what you tried to do there. However, it wasn't advice because I didn't ask you for it. <laughs> it was a suggestion at that point. I didn't take it. Here we are. I completely understand that. In the South, we have these things with where parents, uh, elders, I'll just say elders in general, they confuse advice and commands. And uh, a lot of times you, the boundary conversation has to happen when this occurs because they feel because you didn't take their advice, sometimes they feel like it's disrespect. So if you're an elder and you're listening to this podcast somehow, listen to us and listen to us very closely. We are still learning a different lifestyle, a different time, a different society than you have. True, there are some similarities where you can offer some enlightenment or some of your opinions, but please understand we're navigating as we see fit. And with us being adults, we would really appreciate it if you respected our decision as such adults, whether you agree or disagree. That's all we ask. So I'm that a, being I'm said, a, I'm gonna go ahead and put it. I'm a grown ass man, dog. Don't nah. <laughs> if I if I want to go ahead and do this, then I'm gonna do this. Like, don't don't over here. He's gonna sugarcoat the shit. I'm a grown ass man, bro. Like, like, listen, I, I respect you as an adult, and you need to respect me as such. Because if it makes my and like it's my mistake, it's my life. So go ahead and let me go ahead and make my mistakes and make my own life. So that's what he was trying to say. I'm like your angry interpreter. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. It's always good to have one. And usually it's the other way around. That's the funny thing. I'm not really used to that. We we switch roles, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, did anyone else have like any other um, pet peeves that popped up? That was such an alliteration there, pet peeves that popped up. Uh, anyway, uh, anyone have anyone that they want to add? Anything before we get started on our group activity? No. All right. Well, let's get started. So, guys, I'm going to share my screen. And to those of you who are watching this video, which will come way later than the audio will, because I'm lazy when it comes to editing video for these. Um, I'm going to share my screen with my team and reveal what I've been working on. So let's see. Mm -hmm. What we have here. Da, na, 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 let me know if y'all can see it. I can't really hear y'all because y'all are muted. We can see it. Yeah, we can see it. This is the 2021 Pet Peeves tier list. Yes, I have here, down here at the bottom, very various pictures. And we're going to go one by one. And we're going to rank these Pet Peeves as a group. I'm super excited, guys. I have no idea. So I did not randomly, well, 
I selected these, but these are not of my own accord. I checked out the Wondrous Twitter, which is kind of like the wild, wild west. And uh, I looked up the top pet peeves of 2021, and I selected 17 of them. And so let's begin. All right. So one that was previously mentioned by Mr. Stokes was whining. So this will be something where we don't have to talk one at a time. We could all come up and just discuss on a scale of D being the lowest and S being the highest. Where do you guys think whining should fall? S. You say S is the highest? Yes, sir. S tier is the God most. Get this motherfucker. I'm about to kill him. What's right below the S? S is A. A. Oh, y'all can't see it. It's D. You can zoom in. Uh, I don't know how to zoom. No, out. I mean on our phone. You can oh. you can zoom in on the phone oh, to see the. Okay. Yes, I All just right. found out myself. So it's S A B C. Okay. Okay, so B for whining. So we got a B. We got an S. I'm I'm gonna say A, um, because with whining in a lot of what you know, Mr. Stokes saying. I'm I'm gonna put it in A because that's also kind of like being an attention whore. An attention mm. whore pisses me off. So yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm gonna put it in A. It ain't like quite at the top, but it's damn near there. So I'm gonna say A. I can concede an A. I can I can you know, I can compromise. You know what I'm saying? I okay. feel A. I'll go up to A. And uh Ebony also said A in the chat. Okay. Yeah, yeah A will work. A? All right. So whining. Is going to the A tier. All right. Now this next one is kind of disgusting, given that we're in the uh, whole so Panera bread panorama. From? Say what? Where'd you get these emojis from? It was so quick that you got these little uh, memes down here. Oh, I I did my homework because so like, like I I went searching. I went, <laughs> look. I told you I, I was a nerd. To point out your efficiency. That's all. Go ahead. Hey, that's what it do. So my next one is disgusting. And it's 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 up there for me. It's up there for me. I ain't gonna lie. Wet sneezes where you don't cover your mouth. Yes. 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 <laughs> Somebody's uh, gonna die. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, let me ask you something. Nasty. You, you ever hmm. fucked around, been around somebody who sneezed and didn't cover their mouth and you smelled it? Yeah. Oh God. Or you can see the sneeze dust. That's fucking nasty. <laughs> the sneeze dust. Yeah, it is. It, oh, oh. Uh, Ebony also said S all cap multiple S. Yeah. And I think that was even before COVID too, because like, okay, yeah, because yeah, that was that was like, bro, if you don't close your, like, you could do everything else. Like nobody's saying that you can't sneeze, but you could put your hand, unless you are an amputee and you got no hands. And that's that's the only reason why you can do that. That's hilarious. Well, you can sneeze on your shoulder, can't it? Like it depends yeah. on how how flexible he is. You know what I'm saying? That is disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Your elbow is a little different. Yeah. All right. So my next one is is something that really came from uh Gen Zers. This one was really heavy in Gen Z. Being talked to while you're trying to listen to your music. Where you got to take your headphone out. There was an overwhelming majority of Gen Zers who was not feeling that shit at all. So where would it rank with y'all? Um, Let me say, I say, I say, uh, what's this one again? A B. Yeah, I'm I'm a B. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I can, you know, I can be calm. I, I was just about to say, I'm going to say B2 because sometimes what they need to say might be important too okay. because we live in an age of earbuds. Um, you know, a lot of times people will come up to you and not realize that you have an earbud in because most times we only keep one in anyway. So True. we can hear everything else out the other side. So <laughs> Ebony, Ebony, Ebony said, like, Ebony said, fuck uh, that. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, and I say this because it happens to me a lot at work. Um, 
but I care more about I care more about people trying to talk to me in the car, like on trips while I'm listening to something, yeah. than I do them interrupting me with my earbud in for a brief conversation. So I'm gonna say B. Okay. All right. So the general consensus is a B. Besides yeah. Ebony, who says S. <laughs> I just don't want to talk. There's no talking. She said, I get that. She said, oh, I get that. All right. All right. So, and 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 I'm going a little random. Of course, I don't want to, you know, I want to kind of jump around. Now, this is a big one for me personally. I know which one you're going with. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to go for this one. Wait. Slow internet. Now, look. As someone who will absolutely die without the internet as a content creator. All of us are have our hands in media. This is just me. Internet is pertinent to me, given the things that entertain me. So I'm going to go S tier. I will get annoyed the instant my internet buffers. No lie. I get, I could go Super Saiyan. What'd you say, Car? You're going to put it up with the wet sleeves? It goes up to my team like that. Personally, I would. Personally. <laughs> personally. I'm gonna but, go I'm gonna go A because like it's definitely a no, no, because I know I'm gonna go S simply because like uh I had a week where I didn't have internet and, and shit was just horrible. And then you get aggravated about everything because like you don't know how much your stuff is tied to your internet. Mm-hmm. That is true. What about mm-hmm. y'all? I'll do an uh, A. Ebony said A. A? I say, I say B. A. So you're like between on the B line. and it? <laughs> like on the line. Okay. You know. Okay. So so with that is is we had about an A. What about you? Little, uh, you, can, you can leave it on an A. Day. I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I was going to say B because I remember how I felt when Facebook was down for like that day and I was coming back from Texas. I've never felt more of a slave to technology than I did that day. Mm -hmm. And um, I was just really like, I think the next day I literally went and bought three books because I was like, I should not be this despondent um, without internet or without being able to function. So I was going to say B, but I can definitely agree with A. Okay. All right. All right. So I like where we're going. I, I, I like where what we're seeing. Now, I've rode with several of you before, and I know how you guys handle traffic. So this is going to lead me to my next one. How do y'all feel about old people who drive slowly? <laughs> old Doris in front of you in the fast lane doing 36 miles per hour. <laughs> Dude, that's my grandmother's name. That's so funny. Oh, no, my <laughs> bad, Gladys, no. Gladys. You're good. Look, she's German. She 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 drives. <laughs> oh, that's up there. I'd probably cuss about today. That's up there. Oh, my nigga. What's above the S, nigga? Because I don't feel like the chart goes high enough. Because if you don't get your old ass out the back now, oh my goodness, I can't stand it. And don't let me be on 10, be on the interstate, bro, and you in my way. Oh, and there's a truck over here and I can't get around you. Oh, you all kinds of things that day. Sons of bitches and everything. I don't give a damn. You better move your ass out the way. Get the fuck out the way. Mama, move out the way. Oh, shit. Can't do it. Boy, what where it say? Pet peeves kill this maker. Mine is up there. Mine up on the pad at the top, goddamn. Put mine up in the black area at the top of the Zoom call, goddamn. Put me by the record button. Boy. Oh, shit. Oh. Ooh, put me there. Boy, oh, you put God. that in there for me personally. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So the general <laughs> consensus is is about an S. Does everybody agree? Go with that. Put it at the top. 
She no. can't Marie, can't Marie average whatever I, she averages. Up it's going to have to be an S. <laughs> up there. Somewhere up there. Oh, God. Off the chart. Okay. I'm, I'm laughing at myself because there's currently someone in here who drives like an old lady. <laughs> and I could totally see this person. <laughs> I'm talking about you. <laughs> and that's why but car I just gets in the car. I'm in the car. That's why I am right in the on the passenger side. Bruh, when I tell y'all, y'all are making me laugh so hard I'm sweating. Oh <laughs> my god. All right. Well, speaking of having a good time, we've all dealt with this person before. And if you are this person, I'm gonna pray for you. Uh-oh. Dealing with somebody who gets white girl wasted. Where does that fall for you? Now, when I'm talking white girl wasted, I'm talking about the loud, the hugging and touching everybody, the, the falling out, throws up at inconvenient places, you know, just just they having too much of a good time. Where does it fall for y'all? Are you taking care of them or are they just on their own? That, you know that makes a difference. That makes That's a difference. I'm going to crank it up a notch. You are taking care of them. Yes. Yes. Um, okay, wait. So are we taking care of them as like a friend or are we fucking? Like, is this somebody that I am having, mm. you know, mm. sex with? Or this is like a homeboy, a homeboy. You know what? I'm going to go with homie because I think we have more homies than, you know what I'm saying, fuck buddies. So I'm going to go with homie. Um, I'll go a strong A. I'm in between an A and a B because I feel like at this big ass age that we at right now, you should know better. But I have definitely been that person and I've been the person to actually take care of somebody in my early 20s. So man. I'm gonna say B. Okay, so we, we got a B, we got an A. What else we got? I think I'm gonna go with a B too because I've been white girl wasted a couple of times. So I'll do a B. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've been ignorant. Okay, K, what you got? K L, what y'all got? A, uh, F said ass or salt. Oh, damn, F. <laughs> okay. Yeah, ass again. That's what she said. Ass again. Um, <laughs> maybe it's autocorrect. It's supposed to be A. Maybe it's just ass. Anywho. Um, damn, I was white girl wasted at the TLP show, though. <laughs> yes, <Damn>. over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell her business. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit that part out. I don't know, man, because I've been the person taking care of that person. I'll be, I've been the person taking care of that person way more than I've ever been that person because very seldom are you going to see me drunk. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, now, let me say, <laughs> there's probably one person in here who's seen me drunk more than anybody else. <laughs> But that was in the seclusion of homes, and they made the fucking drink and don't drink, don't drink the cup that Buck hands you. That's all I'm saying. Don't drink it. But it wasn't like white girl wasted. I wasn't vomiting all over the place. Um, I don't know. It's just ah. mm. I guess I guess between B and A. Between okay. B and A, I have to let that land. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, given the general consistency, that's like a, a strong B plus. So we'll leave it at B for now. Sir, what, what about you though? Oh shit. As as somebody who's been on both ends of the spectrum, um, I, I can handle drunk people. I can. Um, <laughs> you know, we've had a lot of practice dealing with drunk people on their birthday and stuff. So Listen, I'm kind of used to what to do, you know. So I, I'm I'm pretty I'm really patient when it comes to, to drunk people. So in actuality, it may be like a C for me because I'm kind of used to it. So it don't even really phase me anymore. As long as they're listening, because like if they're belligerent yes. and they don't want to yeah. listen, 
that that takes it up to like an A or an S. Because then after that, you be like, I'll be done with your ass afterwards. But like, sit your ass down, don't do nothing else. Yeah. Straight up, straight up. <laughs> I go into parent mode. And drunk people don't like when people talk to them like they're uh, they're their parent. Eighty five percent of them is gonna sit the fuck down and shut up. So. <laughs> And there was one time I was drunk and they told me to get into a tub and I was like, fuck y'all. I talked to Jeremy. Like, I literally was like, I'm not talking to nobody else. Where's Jeremy? And, Jer- and Jeremy was like, hey, you're not very well right now. So uh, I need you to go ahead and sit down. All right. Well, you say so. But everybody else, fuck them. And then I, I sat down. Yeah, you, you got to have a system. If you if you know you're about to get fucked up, you got to have that one person who who has your best interest at least that one person mm-hmm. and you guys have to agree on how <laughs> y'all are going to get fucked up like what degree are y'all going to get fucked up and who's going to be the responsible one. as long as y'all got that y'all will be good yep all right so right now we got an even spread for s's we got the wet sneeze and the slow ass grandma for a's we got the whiners and the low internet and for b's we got the bitch don't kill my vibe and the white girl wasted going on so this is but good. y'all zoom in on the faces of the little memes. Look at the grandma. <laughs> yeah, bro. I tried to find the most. <laughs> <laughs> I tried my best, y'all. All right. So this is a big one. Body odor. We all know that one person who skips the deodorant. Mm. So yes. I'm just gonna let y'all have it. Yes. <laughs> to turn it yes. Yes. Because you can control that shit. Like, it's different. <laughs> like, you can control, like, you can control that shit. Like, you can go find all types of body deodorant, like, baby powder, whatever you need to do to mask that ass smell, <laughs> you can be able to do it. You're choosing to be just horrible. You se- you smell like a fucking zoo. And that, or outside all the time, that is horrible. <laughs> Why is that cuss smell like outside? That's outside. fucked up. I ain't heard nobody say that since my mom when I was like six. Oh, boy, you smell like outside. Go take a oh. All right. Now, if, if you guys check out that picture, he has odors coming from his ass, his mouth, his, his nipple, his armpits. Like, you got to be so a funky cool. motherfucker if you got nipples. Like, <laughs> Nipple smells like <laughs> uh, shit. All right, so we go. We go keep the ball rolling. Now, this was a personal one. This is one that really, really aggravates the fuck out of me, and I see this a lot in Walmart. <sighs> Unattentive parents to their kids. Mm. If you were out in public with your kids, watch your motherfucking kids, bro. Please. Like it ain't S tier for me to the point where I'm foaming at the mouth, but I am grossly irritated by your presence. If you are just your kids just running up and down the aisles and you don't, you know what I'm saying? Or they ripping open the bread and you just standing there on the phone. Like, uh, come the fuck home, bro. Especially if they bump you too. Oh, I will kick yeah, a kid. I feel like I <laughs> <laughs> looked like he was ready to fight when he said that. <laughs> He looks like that that meme of Lawrence Fishburne. All right, come on. So where where would it fall for y'all? Um, I'm gonna say A. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, A. A. Yeah, I don't have two. I can't take. See, I was I was just about to say like this is this is kind of a tougher one. Um, you know what I'm saying? Considering that I know a lot of us don't have kids, like half of us have kids, half of us don't. You right. know what I'm saying? But I also don't think that the people in here that have kids are about to let their kids just run ragged. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. They no. fuck shit up. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all almost got being whooped just to, y'all had a flashback. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. No. That's not even a joke that way, guys. <laughs> you, almost got, you almost got somebody fucked up. Right. Oh. So I'm looking for what's yet. That's a what? <laughs> That's a what oh, thing you don't play about. Like you could be able to do oh. a whole lot of stuff, but when we get out in public, your ass better act like you got some sense. <laughs> Cause man, 
Mm-hmm. I remember one time I snatched him so quick, he didn't know what happened. He thought I had in- ultra instinct and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know your daddy was the Flash, did you? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I yeah, almost right. got her yuka. Okay, <laughs> but then man, we at the house. She mm-hmm. almost got yuka. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So about an A is—is is everybody good with A? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, now it's time to be devious and we're gonna flip it. <clears throat> Badass kids. Where does it fall for y'all? Yes. Now I know I got two parents in here, so I get it. I will he say that none parents. of y'all kids qualify as bad, so y'all are good, but y'all know who the fuck I'm talking about. The kid that <laughs> cannot spend the night. so yeah personally the instant i realize somebody has bad kids i I don't want to come over i like if they're gonna be there i ain't coming (laughs) (laughs) like mm -mm. i had to stop talking to somebody because they had just badass kids and i was like you want to snatch them real quick but then like because but you they're not yours you know what i'm saying so you can't really Cause I be getting like, I don't know, Ben, Ben is, Ben is good. Cause he was, he was looking around like, he going to be able to do that? I was like, not, nah, mm-mm. <laughs> Sit down. S. I'm going to have to, yeah. S tier? Bad kids? Bad kids. Uh-oh, you're breaking up. Oh, can y'all hear me? I yeah, hear me. I can. Hear you. Okay, it was breaking up. Say it again. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear. Yeah. You. Oh, I was saying, say it again. Who, whoever was talking, it was like breaking up for a second. I think the moment's passed. I don't know who was talking. Yeah, I don't either. So. <clears throat> Oh, well, S tier. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm with it. Carl, what was you saying? Because I think it I think it cut out on you. It was me? Oh, yeah, shit. I think so. Oh, yeah, S tier. Yeah, it's not cute. Bad kids, ugly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll yes. take that. <laughs> And they say them little silver tea children. It's oh, them, them, the ones. them kids, it's them the caps. The <laughs> They're the devil. They're the devil. Them little fuckers them been here before. <laughs> yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They say fuck brushing them teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> them the kids, them the kids, they make that hashtag for hashtag fuck them kids. That's them, oh. kids. them kids right there. FTK. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That and them kids in the scary movies, bro. Like, I, I watch scary movies, all of them kids. If you see kids in a scary movie, you just say, fuck them. Just leave them there. That's them. That's them. You got games on your phone, kids. That's them. Kids. Oh, uh-huh. hell no. I remember them. Oh, I remember that shit right there. That was primarily why I wasn't going anywhere with people who had kids for a good, like, stretch of, like, five years. <laughs> Y'all seen that meme? Of uh, his little boosy face where he looking at the camera crazy, uh-huh. and it came in time for uh, Thanksgiving and some. And the caption read, "Can the kids play on your PlayStation 5? And it was like little boosy like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh, that tickled me so. That tickled me so. <sighs> oh, fuck them kids. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next one because we all know somebody that does this shit, and this isn't me picking on anybody." It's just people that do this shit for a living for some reason. Niggas who argue with people in the comment section. (laughs) Personally, it's not S tier for me. Not quite A, but it's B. It's enough to be like, that's, that's annoying. Like, 
it I'll is speak annoyance. to it if it comes up, but it's it's annoying as fuck. It depends on what they're arguing about, too. Nah. Does it? It uh-uh. does. Sometimes it's like Ebony said, sometimes it's entertaining to see them go Some back Some people forth. make other people problems they problems, and they, ain't got, they, ain't got, they don't have no reason to hop their asses. And they got, all they want to do is be messy. <laughs> go, go hop your messy, toxic ass somewhere else. Go find something else to do. Read a book. Is that is that the same kind of people that like you'll have like a generic like positive message and then they'll find something in the message yes. to be able to yes yes, yes. them <laughs> them yeah. what, what, did you just hope up for a second bro? <laughs> hey, it's like a little you know the kid I know y'all have seen that video of the kid when he first had the monkey pop for the first time mm-hmm. he was like ah, that shit <laughs> I want to choke a motherfucker <laughs> oh. <laughs> It might it's be like, a little bit higher than the beef for me then. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like a B, a B or a C. You know what I mean? Like I just I look at it and then I just be like, all right, they, they stupid. Like, why would you? And then I hate it when they keep going back and forth. And especially if it's on your comment, and then all of a sudden you got 97 comments or notifications. And you're like, you're like, bro, all I said was happy birthday. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Uh, uh, all right. So where would you rank it? Why? Where, where would it be for you? It's like a B or C, man. Like it's annoying, but like yeah. Like I hmm. you have to learn how to kind of drag like you uh uh-uh. it's uh it's like a B. I'm gonna say a B. B. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ebony, what about you, girl? B. B. All right, all right, all right. All right. Kara? Um, I'll say it's between the B and the C. I'll go with the consensus. I'll do it. All right. We we have about a B minus. Damn. K Marie, where where you at? I'm about a, I'm about a B minus myself, damn. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, I'm gonna agree with y'all. It 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 it, it grinds my gears. But not to the point where I have to drink when I'm around this person. It just makes me side eye you. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, hopefully this one will ruffle your feathers a little bit more. Now I'm just gonna place it where it fucks with me at on this one. Because this is one of like my top two. And I chose the Kanye West and Taylor Swift moment. Niggas who interrupt you while you fucking talking. Ooh. Mm. It's S for me, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's up there. It's up there. I, I, I'm gonna have to say D because I do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the list of doing it, and I apologize. I try, but I can go back and let you finish. But if I don't say what I say, then it's never coming back, and then it'd be something great for us. For us combined, I, I, and one of us get to hear it. So I apologize. I'm sorry. I, I've been working on it for years. I really, really have. Okay. Oh. D? I'm guilty of it, <laughs> but not like that. <laughs> and so it's funny that you you brought that up because that's what that's what set me off early when I had to bring it up. We was talking about the earbud conversation. Mm. I can understand the part that I'm guilty of is trying to find things in my life that correlate to what they're trying to talk about. Yeah. And I'm guilty of that. So I've tried to do less of that. But when you start talking about something that has mm, 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 it's an S for me. Why, Cara, Ebony, where y'all at? It's up there. And then I hate when they say, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but it's, oh. <laughs> you didn't mean to interrupt me. It's, S. it's an S. <laughs> at work, it's an S, but like uh, any other time, it's like a B for me. Because like, mm. because like at work, I'm trying to just tell you something. 
that you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's a conversation, cause I'm, I'm, I'm like K Marie and everything like that. Like I'll, I'll like, if I don't tell you right now, like literally I've raised my hand in conversations and be like, Ooh, I got something to say. And I'll keep <laughs> my hand up and I'll be like, let like, as soon as you're done, I got to keep it right here. So I can remember what I'm saying. Um, but if it's like if it's like that, then it's like a beef for me because I know sometimes it just you have to get it out, otherwise you're gonna forget it. But if it's at work, it's definitely an S because like I'd be like, just shut the fuck up. Let me tell you why I need to, and let's get this stuff going. <laughs> like you don't know what you don't know what I know, so let's go ahead and get this moving. Because if you did, you wouldn't be calling in right now. That is. I feel that. Yes, calls All right, Ebony. You so big guy. Oh, I gotta go with the consensus, man. Because like why you pointed out, he added a layer. Environment does make a difference. If it's mm. my kids, it's some motherfucking ass. But if it's you know, <laughs> if it's my mom, you know, I let this slide. But if I'm at work, it's another motherfucking ass. <laughs> if it's my friend. Depending on which friend it is, it might be a B. I, it depends. Environment makes a difference. It does. Okay. Can you say? Can you say another motherfucking ass, please? Just one more time for me. <laughs> it's a motherfucking ass. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna be fair. I'm, I'm gonna go with the 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 law of average because K Marie gonna give us a D. I'm gonna take it from an S. <laughs> And I'm gonna move it down to a B. I'm gonna move it down to a B. In, a, in an effort of patience. Now, I'm letting you know, as as rule master of the tier list, I reserve one override. Uh, and I still have yet to use it, so I'm I, I have one override. So let's go with this next one. And I see this a lot on Facebook. And I, I know somebody in particular that is very uh, particular about how words are spelled. Oh. <laughs> no, Grammar no. Nazis. How do y'all feel? This ranks <laughs> on Grammar Nazis. Where where is it at? Where is it at on the on the little list for y'all? They make me upset. <laughs> they make me upset. Like on Facebook, if you correct what I'm saying. You knew what the fuck I meant. Like, come on now. Like, if if you know I can't spell, don't 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 front me out here in front of these people. You know what I'm saying? Pull me to the side, tell me, and let me edit my shit myself. But <laughs> don't come out here and put the little like uh the little star thing, and then after that, like like you couldn't fix my own thing. Let me let me go. You knew what I meant. Shit. Um. That being said, it's only a B. Because it, it just it just is like it's an annoyance. Like mm. I'm not gonna jump, I'm not gonna jump down your throat. An S is like, like you said, it's gonna I'm gonna kill you. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's, that's, an A is like you get on my fucking nerves. A B is just like, come on, really? Like you right. could find nothing else to do besides read my comment and then go miss DOL on my shit. Like so that, that's that's where it should be. I use words for a living. <laughs> it's pretty fucking hot for me. <laughs> um, well, I, you know, I, actually, I take it back. I should say pretty low for me just because I'm I'm probably one of those people. However, I will inbox you. I will Appreciate inbox you. you when you get wrong before I front you on the stats. My nigga, that's that's why that's why I fucks with you because like you can just tell me that on the side. You don't have to put it out there for. For everybody else to know that I can't spell? It's, but you know what? It's one thing to misspell something. It's a completely different thing to just use a totally different word. Oh. Um, Ooh. Like, that, that's, I laugh. If you are going, for example, if you're going to a state where marijuana is legal and you put, I can't wait till I get to the distillery. Oh, God. Ooh. It's a dispensary, not a distillery. Distillery is for liquor. Oh, Shit God. like that drives me crazy. <laughs> like if you're gonna, if you're gonna, you know, you could just say, "I can't wait to go smoke where it's legal." But no, you wanted to go use the big words. You wanted to go use the proper terms, but you, 
<laughs> fuck that up. So yeah, um, just vocabulary. I'm put at a B. B. I just want to piggyback off. <laughs> and say yes. Yes. Also, absolutely. <laughs> I feel like if you can't spell it, you don't need to be doing it. <laughs> you have canceled you out. Go sit down. Have several seats. Oh, I am. I just let it irk me. I stopped um, trying to correct people. And I don't correct people disrespectfully. I correct people because I feel like if I say that I'm here for everybody's elevation, that also means you knowing the difference between two, two, and two, there, there, and there. <clears throat> uh, where and were um, I mean just to name a few uh, because they really whooping some people's asses and I they undefeated out here in these streets <laughs> oh, I'm just sick of it oh then and then I'm just oh god your Ooh. your my favorite one is effect and affect that, that is yeah. one. that yeah. one is knocking niggas out bro but I mean, yeah, it is. But that's, I can understand why people don't, you know, it's, some people may not know the difference, but I feel like these other things you learned in the first grade. I and then you, and you. I can, I can understand the effect and effect. What I don't understand is people say they're looking for something specifically. Oh, that's bad. Mm. It makes my ears hurt. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Specifically, I was trying to be specific. Yeah, I, mean, I want to ask you. I want to ask you. I'm sorry. Hold up, Buck. Your your mic is tripping. It sound like you're on speakerphone. Mine's is. Yeah. All right. Let me mute it and try to come back in. You got an iPhone? No. Can you oh. hear me better? Now? Mm. I mean, you could keep going. It just sounded like you was on speakerphone. Like it, you know how like when somebody's standing there listening to a voicemail. That's yeah, how it sounds. I got it. Damn. Okay. Um, I don't know. That's weird. Was it doing that? Has it been doing that the whole time? Mm. Oh shit! It just started. Okay. Um. I was gonna ask you: Are there any words that you specifically do not use because you don't want to be the one? Getting corrected by the grammar Nazis, like just words that you have trouble with. Convenience. That, I, that's mine too. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I am quick to write. Will you hit me up at your earliest availability? <laughs> before I write, earliest convenience. Because I have to Google that shit almost every single time, and I'm sorry, but I just do. I before E except before C. That's what I remember. That shit don't help me at all in convenience. That's after C. <laughs> <laughs> That shit don't save me at all. <laughs> Step to after C. <laughs> Let's go. See? See, I can't help it. Can't help it. There it went. There it went again. See? No. But it's actually a lie because there's more words than that that they're split. So the rule actually doesn't even work for real. Uh, and, and most common words, it does, but... No. Oh, hell, forget that then. Yeah, fuck it. Like, just every day I find out everything I learned was a lie. Every day. Hey, so every time, like, whenever I try to make a post and then there's a word that may be iffy, I'll be like, well, let me try to find this other word real quick because uh, I'm not for the, not for the have it happen. So either that or I'll, <laughs> I'll take a Jeremy and I'll be like, hey, because he worked in the uh, English department when we were in college. Let me, let me ask him how that works out. That's oh, it. yeah. Like that that's one thing I do love about us. Like I've I've sent all of you screenshots of messages or emails before I sent them off. Like, hey, how does it sound? I bet finna send it. If you ain't got a crew that can proofread your shit, you need to expand your circle, my guy. You are failing. Mm-hmm. So everybody, what about you, love? Where would you place the spelling and misspelling and the correctors and the red pen havers? <laughs> Uh oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Abby? 
Oh, I think it muted her. Hold on. I'm going to mute you and unmute you. I can't hear you. Uh -huh. Can y'all hear Ebony? Uh-uh. I don't know. I don't know what that is. She said she don't know what happened. Oh, golly. Just throw it in the chat and we'll 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 do it that way. Well, she she said she concurs. Yep. Ah, she concurs. So we we're going a B is where we at. All right, all right, all right. B is uh better Google it before you hit send. All right, so Let's go with our next one. This is pretty minor to me because I am uh, such a being I'm about to discuss. So I'm going to put it at a D because goddamn it, you ain't even talk about me like I ain't here. Snoring. Where would y'all rank snoring? <laughs> the hell you laughing at, Carl? <laughs> the hell you laughing at? Get down. Like when you sleep, you are sleeping. Like, yeah. Yeah, I can see why, but I would say C too because I snore too. I would say sleep. Whole lot of quiet in this motherfucker. <laughs> I would say I would say C. C. Okay. Okay. Like I I snore too. Like, but you can't. I can't hear myself snoring because when I snore, I'm knocked out. But like, <laughs> right. but but like when I'm tired, I am really tired, and I know I snore. All right, Ebony said an A. God damn. No. God damn. Ebony, right. Ebony don't like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything piss off. What about you, Kay? What you got? What you got on the, the snores? Oh, once again, a D. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Take <laughs> it on to the bottom. <laughs> Gotta get it in. Look, However, it. my husband also snores. So when he goes to sleep before me, I do be really, really pissed. <laughs> I got, damn it. <laughs> that was supposed to feed him. Shit. I <laughs> got me again. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said exactly that be me. But. Uh, uh, see, you know, it happens. Snore happens, you know. So I'm not going to lie. Snoring does not bother me at all, yo. I ain't even going to front because I'm I'm about to sound like an 808 too. So we could be in this whole like a David Banner session. Let's go. Like, <laughs> it's going down. So with the, with the law of the average, you know, we got a few C's, D's, B's, um, and the A, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at a C. I'm gonna leave it at a C. That's pretty average. It's pretty tame as far as pet peeves go. All right. So this one may be pretty tame for y'all, but this one was pretty high up on the list. People who leave their shopping carts in parking spots. I, I'm yeah, that's a D for me. I can just move it. Maybe mm. I need it. All right, we got a D. What about y'all? Yeah, not a big deal for me. Okay, okay, okay. So a D, two Ds, double Ds. Didn't mean that to sound like it did. Yes, wow. You, yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, yeah, it's... What? Yeah, uh, I... Th it doesn't really bother me as long as like it's not hitting my car. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So I'll tell you the one time that it, well, the times they do annoy me is when there's literally nowhere to park and there's like three in a parking spot. You know what I'm saying? Like that annoys me. But I, I say that's that's fairly tame. I don't, I don't, I just be like, that's stupid. So and I get out and take care of it and, and park. So. Okay, so general consistency about a, a D, double D, double S. I see what you did there, Abby. Please say the goddess. All right, so we're gonna move on to one that I'm I'm gonna put at A off rip because this this is pretty high up for me. 
People that be on their phone and you could tell the whole goddamn conversation because they talking so goddamn loud. Where does this stand for y'all? Personally, I don't want to hear your goddamn conversation. Why do you have them on speakerphone and you talking about somebody eating your ass? Ma'am, this is Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> So what about y'all? What does this stand for y'all? Mm. I'm gonna go A. Uh, I'm gonna go um, S for 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> because right. even my own mother does that. And I'd be like, why do you want me to hear your whole conversation? I'd be like, you, you hearing that in? <laughs> Yo, Ebony <laughs> said. And you hearing that in? Can you cut it up? Because, uh-uh. don't like that. Well, Ooh, hate that. Sorry. Ebony has chosen A. She says, if I'm in the food stamp office and every other word is motherfucker. Like, <laughs> goddamn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Shout out to y'all who do have the EBT cards. If you um down to... Never mind. I'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want that on uh, audio. <laughs> oh, so what? What about the rest of y'all? We we got a couple A's. Mm, yeah, I would go with an A. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty high up. Um, <laughs> right now, uh. B is taking the lead with with the top ones. You know we pretty we pretty tame on our pet peeves. Now, this final one has to do with talking as well, but it's a different aspect of talking. It's the person who talks too goddamn much. You give them two sentences of story, and they are going to talk for forty five minutes straight. Where is it at for y'all? I'm guilty, so I'm gonna say D. <laughs> the African American urge to say long stories short, but the story's not short. Mm. <laughs> that is a thing. That is a thing. Mm. Y'all getting mighty motherfucking quiet. Y'all either laughing or y'all afraid to say something because Dre said he talked too much. <laughs> you know, when Dre talks, it's a really good conversation, though. So it's not like, I'm ready to go. You don't talk like that. <laughs> I will say this. His his conversation is pertinent to the topic as well. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's either full of helpful information or you're about to laugh at something. Right. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> we... I think um, with certain frat brothers of ours, like we've learned the art of, all right, well, uh, I'm, I'm going to get up with you a little bit later. Uh, <laughs> so, so like, it's to me, it's like an A or a B because like, you know how to get out that situation. You'd be like, all right, uh, you know, oh, oh man. Oh, for real. Oh man. I got to go. I got to go pick up, you know, and especially since I got a kid, oh, I got to go pick him up. He out of town, but like I use that to, to my, or, or and Jeremy used to do it too. He'd be like, "Man, I gotta go pick up little man. You know, it's my time to go pick him up." And like, bruh, the fuck just, about it, huh? Listen, I pinched Ben one time just so I could get the fuck out of there. He, oh man, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he acted up. Let me let me go ahead and get him out of here, bro. Uh, I'll get up with you a little bit later, though. Oh God, oh man, he was all right though. Shit, <laughs> builds character. Um. So my real answer is A, mm. because as much as I do like to talk when it comes to, you know, it's just, it's conversation. I like to have good conversation. Um, but I've also been on the other end where I'm headed somewhere and you can see that I'm headed somewhere and you choose to stop me and have a conversation in mid stride for 15 minutes. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. don't follow me where i'm going i might be going to the bathroom like i don't need you to follow me to the bathroom it can wait till i come back <laughs> yeah that no. is 
There it is. Okay. So we're going to leave it at an A is, is what it's looking like. Um, so that actually concludes our group assignment. Just to recap what we got in the D ranking, we got the shopping cart in the parking spot. Uh, for the C rankings, we got snoring. Shout out to us non CPAP users. Uh, for the B ranking, we have bitch don't kill my vibe, white girl wasted, um, arguing in the comments. Uh, I'm gonna interrupt you real quick. And uh, <laughs> people who correct those for using the wrong uh, grammar. Now, A ranking though, this is where you, you start feeling that little pulling sensation behind the ear where your nerves getting bad. We got the over talkative person, the person on speakerphone, parents who just ignore their badass kids, terrible internet, and whiners. And I feel like our top four, the final four of God tier pet peeves, wet sneezes, <laughs> slow driving grandma, body odor, and kids with the silver teeth in their mouth. I, I think that's a pretty good damn list. Well, I appreciate y'all for joining me on this journey of pet peeveture. I just made up a word. I don't give a damn. That way I ain't got to worry about spelling it. Uh, <laughs> um, so just to give everybody a chance to shout out, you know, what they got going on. I'm just going to go one by one. and You can just shout out what you're doing, your socials, anything you want to do. We'll start with you, Kay, because you're the first on my vertical list here. So what you got? Go down, go down. Okay, I'm gonna go down. Cara, what you got going on? What you, what you, what you got? Not a damn thing. This is Cara May. <laughs> well, it's a fly. Um, make sure you go on Spotify, iTunes. Goddess Talk is out right now on Merciless Minds Entertainment. Hit hey. me up on Instagram, Cara May two two seven two. Hey, eternity everlasting. What you got for him, brother? Um, ooh, y'all can. I'm going to just say go to MrEverlasting.com. I finally had a chance to update uh, the website a little bit. And I know by the time this drops, I'm going to have a lot more new stuff. Uh, we got the affirmation series, signature series stuff going on. Y'all can see the shirt that I got on. Hey. Shout out to all of y'all that's been supporting that. Um, also, of course, I am one half of the Safe Word podcast. Safe that is part of the uh, 2020 podcast, LLC. Hey, please say it. P please. Y'all just ain't gonna say shit. I see how this goes. I was kind of, I was trying to leave that little space there. See, dude, I'm gonna put cases on all you. Please say LLC. Um, and then also, of course, I'm one third of the South. Uh, y'all can catch us on your favorite platforms for the South every Thursday, and uh, for every first and third Friday for the Safe Word and uh, PopalinesPoetry.com. Y'all make sure y'all check that out too. That's what I got. Hey. Now, the, the head mob boss of the Blurred Syndicate, Mr. Stokes, what you got, bro? Yeah, so I am the sen or the sensei of the syndicate, your sommelier of anime, your kage of cartoons. So mm. we actually just came out with a shop, um, and it's called just theblurredsyndicate.com, where you're going to have all Black nerd culture apparel, where it comes from even aprons to to uh, totes, to tumblers, to t-shirts. So we got everything that, that you'll need and, and a lot of stuff that you'll want too. So check us out. That is, because uh, he showed us the, the blueprint for this. Uh, I know y'all heard of the NWO, but the BWO. And when I tell you that motherfucker five, <laughs> I know I'm gonna need every color of that, bro. Every color. Ready to swipe my card right now, cuz. <laughs> yup. Swear to God. Swear to God. Big blurred energy as well. So we also got uh, shirts for for women. We got our our gamer shirts. We got also um, shirts for the kids that are our affirmation shirts, where mm -hmm. it says um, something to the extent of like um, there's not there's not anybody. Oh, fuck it, I don't remember what it said. It, it's been a long <laughs> night. It's it's been uh, something about uh, following us. Anyways, just uh, just go go look at the shit. Go to the website, <laughs> goddamn. Go, go go to the website. Ah, uh, I'm just sorry. Uh, that's what it's there for. Yeah, that's right. what it's there for. So, all right, uh, Ebony the Goddess. I know she's having technical issues, but make sure you follow her, uh, Ebony the Goddess, on Facebook 
And that's uh, Ebony, T-H-A-G-O-D-D-E-S-S. Make sure you follow her page. She has, if it's something going on in Mississippi, Ebony usually knows about it and she's posting about it. Um, she's been doing her Mecca of traveling with poetry. I've been extremely proud of her work. Uh, yeah, man, like, like definitely go and support. And Ebony Speaks is out. Uh, so definitely fuck with it. Uh, you'll hear a lot of us on it, you know, and I'm talking about people who are in here. So definitely support. Go find her on Facebook, Instagram, all of the great stuff. And uh, Kamari, she said, uh, what you got? She said hit her up for the access code. And yes, hit her up for the access code for the album. It's 10 Buck Roos, 10, 10 Smoulies. Shout out to Juicy Smoulie. He in jail. Well, he's going to jail. That boy going to jail, Jeff. <laughs> All right. K okay, Marie, what you got, girl? She got a baby. So um, so make sure you go and follow K Marie Photography. <laughs> uh, make sure you follow Black on Black Rhyme Step to the Mic. Uh, she is the VP of the 2020 podcast LLC. Please say the LLC, which we've already previously established. Um, uh, make sure you go to Instagram and follow K Marie Photography Fan. Aha! I forget. I almost forgot about that one. And uh, yeah, make sure you get book buyer. Man, look, if we do photos, 99.8 percent of the time is K Marie, and the other point two is us using our cell phones. So definitely hit her up. She is the master of her craft, and she's expanding more. She's been in like 40 magazines. Goddamn. Like shit, I'm just waiting for her to be like, yo, I work for, for Jet Magazine. 250. Two, God damn. 250 magazines, cuz. So yeah, let we let her work speak for herself. So, but we will not hold you up. We appreciate you for joining us back on this season three premiere of Squad Goals. And uh with that being said, stop sneezing with your mouth open. Like that shit's disgusting. The shit is spraying everywhere. It's a whole pandemic. You need to be conscious of those around you. And uh, yeah, and wash your hands. Be dope.